Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome to coverage to the channel. I have two Primo QSP knives. We're going to take a quick look at them, and we're going to start right now. This is the QSP Rhino. <laughs> it's a rhino. It's a little hot in this rhino. Kind of hot in these rhinos. Check that out. Oh, <laughs> mama. And look at this. I have never, ever seen... I don't even know that you would call that jimping. I don't even know what that's called. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it feels really good. We're going to check out and see how that works out with the ergos here in just a second. But here's a look at this side. It is a frame lock. It has titanium hardware. The screws are titanium. It has a Mokutai backspacer with that same knurled look. Look at that. It's almost like they got a roll and just twisted it. Is that not the coolest thing you have ever seen? The handles are, are titanium. There's six different versions of these that you can get. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, mama. This thing means business. That clip point, and oh my goodness, look at that giant fuller. Just makes it look mean. Let's go from one end down to the other. Look at this. Look at that stone wash. Oh, yeah. It has Bowler M390 blade steel. And this is the purple one, and it looks so good. You do have a nice space. You can put a big old rope back there if you like lanyards. Yes, this is, and this is a sample. Yours won't say sample on it. QSP, thank you for sending these for me to check out. And look at that, Mocha Tai Pocket Clip. That stuff, don't show, don't tell Mrs. Bees this is in the house. She's liable to abscond with it. The pocket clip feels good. It has that ball right there. That makes it easy in and out of the pocket. And let's check it out. Oh, yeah. It is easy to disengage. There's not a whole lot of pass-through, but it this is not sharp, but it's easy. It does catch my thumb very well and has very smooth hydraulic-like action. It's not, I wouldn't definitely call it drop shutty. It is not drop shutty. And I don't know if that's because this has been passed around. You know, well, you know what happens when you get passed around. <laughs> and can I front flick this? You know what? I didn't even know that. You can front flip this bad boy. You can front flip it, and you can use the fuller. You can reverse flick it. And can I use my thumb? Oh, yes. You can open it with your thumb. And on top of that, you do have a small flipper back here. A little couple jimps on there. I would say wrap the jimping around to give me a little better grip. I don't want my finger to slip off of it. Yes, this, wow. And these are primo knives. They're primo priced. I will put links in the description where you can get these. But, oh, mama. This is, okay, you know the size of my hand. Very comfortable. Locks my hand into place. Now, I have a large size hand. If your hand was bigger than mine, let me back out here. If you have XL size hands, this might be a little tight in between here. With For my large hands, it is definitely forcing my fingers. I mean, my hand is locked into place. It's not going anywhere. But if you have XL hands, this might be an issue for you just for size wise. But boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> just going to go out and chop some stuff down. Now, this knurling or whatever you want to call this doesn't really grip my thumb. My thumb just kind of slides, glides across it. It is a soft feel, but that is a, I mean, I would hazard to say that if you have this knife, it's probably not going to be a work knife. This, in my opinion, would be a collector's knife. One that you carry, it could be an everyday carry knife, but you're probably not going to be out, you know, traipsing through the woods and, and digging up truffles or anything like that. I mean, you could. I mean, you know, there's everyone has their own price point. How much? Excuse me. But wow, that is beautiful. So there's the QSP Rhino. Are you ready for the next one? Let's get it. Now this new QSP, this one runs between the 50s and the 80s. So this, this might be a little more affordable depending on who I'm talking to. But this is the QSP Hedgehog. Have you seen it? Would you look at it? Just look at it. I, I kind of like that. I, I don't know what this color scheme is called, but looky here. Looky, looky. It does have some texture. It has that ripple, ripple effect going on. It feels very nice. And something else, look at this. You can't see through it. You know why? Because, and I, I have, I know nothing about what I'm about to tell you, but these are slip joints. And I have to say, 
I might have to start checking out a slip joint from time to time because this thing is fantastic. I love the blade shape. It has 14 C28 in, sand vic steel with a flat grind and a satin finish. This one's carbon fiber. I think it's just, I don't know if it's called golden. This has copper washers in the pivot. The overall length 6.6 .6 inches. Your blade is 2.88 inches and it only weighs 2.9 ounces. And let me back out so I can show you how to close it. Now I've had a couple double detents on the channel, but I don't know that I've had a slip joint on the channel. So I don't, I don't know how to score a walk and talk and all of that. And some of you slip joint people will, you know, you'll appreciate that. But here's a look at the blade that I've got all schmutzed up. Look at this. Wow. Utility cutter for days. And you know, I kind of would have expected this to be a hollow point, but it is a flat grind all the way to the top. And I can't remember what you call this. Uh, I call them a fuller, but it's called something else in slip joints. I, I heard KC from Knives Fast talk about it the other day. And if you haven't checked out his channel, definitely go check out his channel. There's QSP on that side. And you can see it's 14 c 28 in, And yours will not say sample on it. <laughs> but the Ergos, fantastic. They feel really, really good. There's no pocket clip, nothing to get in the way. So this would be one that you would either pocket drop or you would put in a slip. You know, that's all about preference. And as far as sharpening, you do have a little bit of room, but you're kind of right there, just down from the plunge grind. So you, you could definitely sharpen this. You're going to be good to go on that. This one feels sharp, but I know it's been passed around. I'm not going to try to cut anything with it at the moment, but it's very definitive and it's comfortable. It's not, it's not difficult to open and close, but there's your walk and talk. <laughs> I don't know anything about walk and talk. But it sounds good. It sounds really good. It, and it, it, I like how it's not, it's not soft. It lets you know when it's halfway. And then it really locks. It doesn't lock, but it really snaps into place. So there is the QSP Hedgehog. I will have links to this one also in the description. Wow. This, um, I can't remember what the other colors were. But I, you know, I could go for one of these and, and maybe, maybe a different color scheme. But... I hope you enjoyed this video of the hedgehog and the rhino. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like either one of them? You like them both? Do you not care? Let me know what you had for breakfast. But until I see you again, go watch this video. You're going to really enjoy those knives. And I'll see you Friday night at Live at the Hive every Friday night. So remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. It'll cut yourself.